the happenings. Come on, come on. Thanks for tuning in to The Happenings, where we talk about the happenings in your neck of the woods. All right, Atlanta, Georgia, and UK, you're up. So, Lil Baby reveals how protective he is of his money. That includes him counting it 14 times. Talk about being your own money counter. We all know Lil Baby has become one of the biggest rap stars in hip-hop there is. And so, I know he should be making big bank. And his bank account, I know it should be looking very healthy. And I just want everyone to know, especially his fans, how serious Lil Baby is with his moolah. So there's this clip going around with Lil Baby at Icebox Jewelers in Atlanta. And it's been surfacing online and it's showing Lil Baby counting his money over and over several times before paying. Check this out when he says, On God, I already counted it 14 times. Make it right. Yeah. Man, I've never had money from baby that's inaccurate. If it's 10,000, where it's banded, it's not 9980. It's never short. Whatever it is, I, I know it's right. 14 times. You see what I'm saying? 14 times. You just count money at home for hours and hours, like all the yeah, time? Yeah. When just I get to it. make sure it's right? No, when, I, when I get it. Okay, I get it. I told you where I got my money put up at. I got somebody watching it. Family I lock number? it up so they can't get it. Oh, okay, okay. You know it's in there, but they can't yeah. get it. So when I know when I count it, it's what it's supposed to be. So as you can see, even Icebox says that little Baby is never short on his money. He always has the right amount. When he steps on the scene. And they even gifted him something for always being a loyal customer and always having his money right. And as you can see, he states, when I'm at home, I'm constantly counting money over and over. He always had money on his mind, so little Baby always counting cash. So it was the these two roommates in the UK and one of them act like they were financially poor and that they couldn't afford anything so their friend who's a TikToker learned that the hard way because she was paying for her friends everything because she made it seem like she just couldn't afford anything and the question I have for you guys is would you or would you not pay your friends away well anyways this happened to a girl named Megan Good she started out in college and she had to scrape money together to just buy her lunch and things. And college people know how it can be when you're in college and you can't really afford anything but those classes. And sometimes the financial aid doesn't come through. But to make a long story short, she bought her roommate and her friend things that yeah. she thought she couldn't afford. So anyways, one day they went to a restaurant because her roommate said she wanted to celebrate the end of the semester. So they, she thought they was going somewhere that was nice but affordable. But instead they were in this exquisite restaurant that Megan knew nothing about. They said it was so expensive they even had complimentary lemon water. And that everybody was dressed up in their nice clothing. Like formal wear. And she was like, what? I only bought $10. How am I going to pay for this? This is enough for a chicken dinner, but that's about it. And then she thought, well, maybe we're doing a dining dash. And so by her always being used to paying for both things for them, she thought maybe she was going to have to pick up this giant check. So she runs to the bathroom and tries to get her sister to you know transfer her some money to pay for this but when it was time to pay this time her friend and roommate pulled out her card and paid for both her dinner and Megan and even though that seemed like a very nice gesture this is how she found out that her friend was more well off than she was and that is when she found out the truth behind her friend's financial status. And what she found out was interesting. She found out that her friend family owns a restaurant and lives in a mansion. And that she just pretended to be poor. And Megan thought to herself, who does that? And why would you make me pay for all of those meals for all that time? Especially if your family is banking like that. And because of that, their friendship has now been severed. And we know for obvious reasons. And that she doesn't talk to her anymore. And she couldn't imagine 
someone being so privileged that they could think pretending to be poor is true. Well guys, that's all I have for you guys right now at the moment. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. Give me a thumbs up, share if you care. Also guys, can you please turn on your post notifications so you'll know the next time I upload. And also comment on the happenings below and comment what's the happenings in your neck of the woods. Fuck that what they doing, keep on